What up guys, welcome back to a new episode of Child of Light. Today is a special episode because it's episode 20. Yeah, we made it to 20. Hopefully we can make it to 30. I do want to know what happens in the story though, but yeah, it would be good if we could complete our first game on the channel. So let's work towards that. And we're going to get straight in. Aurora, take not upon yourselves others' burdens. I do not have the time. My father waits for me. That is my purpose, mine. Let's talk to him. Yeah, so this is where we left off, guys. Gus left the party because he wanted to help his brothers. And we had a, well, dilemma. So-called dilemma. What are, what are we going to do? Are we going to go after Aurora's father? Or are we go, going to go after her friends? And I decided, well, friends. Friends of her friends. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. So yeah, we're just gonna get straight in. Let's collect some wishes. Although we are full health. Boom, we get low elixir. We just got two rough sapphires, I believe. We get Oh, that's good. A dodge stardust. We can always use one of those. That's not too bad. We got a potent magic potion. And we have a little tribe here. Rise, my warriors! Where could they be? No, all trapped in Eren's labyrinth cell. Oh, whoa, the brave Katagida. Kata? Kate? Kate Gida? I don't know. Fallen to night spell. We must free them. The gates lie at the camp center. The labyrinth is magical. Be careful when you enter. All right, challenge accepted. Let's do this. We can enter the tent. Alright, let's do it. That's an enemy. Anything else here for us? No, nothing. We'll just blind them and leave. It's a bit like a home robbery, isn't it? Just sneak in, sneak out, nick some stuff and just leave. What a curious dwelling. My old station, home of the captain of the Lemurian Guard. Here I raised my younger brother. Taught him how to charge. Wait until you hear our stories, princess. So many battles he and I fought together. If the queen hurt him, come, we must rescue them down in the nether. Right, let's do this. I see another stardust though, so that's good. What is it this time? HP? That's my guess. And I'm correct. Nice. We can use them. I'm not going to use them quite yet, guys. I just remembered, I forgot to do skills last episode. So, Aurora, what were we going for? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, well, we were going for the counter-attack one. Just to get 20% chance of counter-attacking a dark creature when attacked. This is a passive skill. That sounds good. So we'll increase the magic defense by 5. Then we get Finn. What can we do for Finn here? Let's have a look. Let's go towards the monsoon upgrade, so we'll give him some more health. Robert has... what can we do for Robert here? Antidote for all of antidote for one. Let's go for antidote for one. And Tristis can get two. Extend spells. Add one turn to each spell's duration. Passive skill, so that's good. And let's do physical defense for him. Then we got Gus. And let's do physical defense upgrade by five. Then we get the golem. What can we do for you today? It's increase maximum MP by three permanently. That's a lot. Even though he doesn't use any of those spells. So they are all done, upgraded. Let's just raid some more tents before we, well, go to the center of this thing. Anything here? Doesn't seem like it. Nope. Completely empty. have a look down here that's an enemy please don't attack Aurora do me a favor potent magic potion the reason I'm not attacking guys is I just want to find out what's going on here really with the Kate Gator and yeah I, I just want to explore a bit this prison seems ancient who made it some say Aaron the explorer who hailed from distant shores Lemuria founded by the four yeah, I agree, Aniculus. I agree. 
But let me have a look, because I remember something from Aaron. Oh no, that was Mr. Elm. I'm confused. Alright, we're just going to go down. Something here, left or right? Nothing here. Let's go down again. That's an enemy. We're not going to blind him. Which door before we're buried alive? The statue at Erin. She will serve us as a guide. What? I'm, the, I'm just taking the door. I don't care. I just went back. Fuck. Back at the entrance of this place. A clue lies upon Erin's shield. Its face. Alright, so... I'm having a look, but can't figure anything out yet. We're just gonna continue down here just to find out what's going on. So that's a chest. I, f I think they know what they mean, because this thingy, you have a, like a half circle. That's what was on the, on the shield of Erin. I believe that was Erin, that statue. Is, that, is this the down one again? Oh, like that. Like, now the the shield has a star, so we go for the star one. And I just missed a, a chest. That's unfortunate. Now, where are we? Could I go back? Moving through this labyrinth cleverly. So now we need, like... I don't know how I would call that. And we go into battle for the first time. Well, we do get the surprise strike, and it's 2v2. So that's not too bad. That's actually... I can't remember what damage does best to these geezers but we're gonna go for the for the crow I think it's a crow first slash him 154 yeah I can't think guys I'm sorry wow okay gee the cleave 148 he's still alive that's a bit unfortunate the wolf is gonna get a shot off but I feel like we do have to attack he's gathering strength so I think I'll make the right call but we are too late he's doing whirlwind but Aurora Dodges, so that's good, and and counters attacks, counter attacks. So she does she does two attacks in one go. So that's uh, something. That's definitely something. Okay, Gator Cleave obliterated. Nice. Seventy six hundred XP. Golem's gone up to a thirty one. Rebellas up to a thirty one as well. And we find a rough citrine. Let's upgrade these geese. Oh wait, bless you, spirit, for your sacred light. Stop it, you're making me turn bright. Wow, they're actually bantering. Alright, fair enough. So let's upgrade Rebella's defense. And the golem can have increased strength by 5. He can have that. That's not a problem. We don't need that door. What did we? It did have a sign above it. It does have a sign. We're just going to explore this place a little bit more. No, that's... Uh, that door is like a sad smiley, you see it? The eyes, the smile, another, yeah, and the eyes. So that's not the door we need, so I think we need this one. And there's a labyrinth. I always thought that, here's a star. I, I always thought it would be something, what's that, a star? It's not. I always thought Labyrinth is like a, a place in Scotland. I don't know why, it just sounds like it. So we need this one down here. He's not going to battle us, we're just going to go through. It just sounds like a place, like Labyrinth. Where are you from, Labyrinth? Alright. That's a horrible Scottish accent. It's not even a Scottish accent. Just, I apologise, that was bad. So, we need this one, I believe. If we go back to the start, no, we found we found it. Who has opened Erin's path and freed us from the night? Behold, a princess of light! Oh my God, what a beast! Kate Gida, Captain, thank you on behalf of the Kate Gida Princess, Aurora, Aurora. Now we can again protect the starry skies and floating peaks of Lemuria, brother. What is the traitor doing here? You should have left us, let us die with honor. The Queen of Night, you served for shame. What? We're just going to call him Lane. I think it's Chucha Lane. Chucha Lane? I think Chucha Lane. Please be calmer. Brothers, we know more be. You are banished, fallen from grace. Flee. Ah, But he helped us. Come on, guys. That's a bit rough. 
Let's get everything Stardust. Strength Stardust, always handy. And we're going to loot the place before we're going to talk to anybody. That's the way we are. Your Majesty, we will assume our posts high on high. Our duty we will die for to protect, to protect the Lemurian sky. That's noble of you, sir. Night shift is Aaron's labyrinth, trapping us inside. Thank you for finding the path, turning the tide. No problem. That's, we are free of the Queen's prison. Anything else we can do here? No. So we... Our fortress we will reclaim. The Kegida have risen. Goodbye. My path I must set. The Kegida thank you for our freedom. We will not forget. So that, yeah, we just spent some minutes trying to gain some allies and I think we did well. I am an outcast, worse than death. A disgrace to your name, Princess Aurora. You bravely shielded your clan. Remember who you are, a great warrior of Lemuria. She's playing the flute again. Seems to help a lot of people. So I don't have a problem with it. Just being silent, guys, just to appreciate good music. That melody, strong like armor. Join us to regain your honor. That doesn't rhyme. Now let, let us leave this tower. The moon sh we shall return this hour. The Morin request complete. Kate Gida Kindred. So yeah, we got an achievement. I will leave a description in the comments down below. And I will leave an annotation on screen as well. Just so we all know what's going on. But I think it's pretty clear what we've done. That's my, that makes it sound like it's bad. We all know what we've done. But let's go to this balcony. Where, well, there's been a lot of chatter about this balcony. So let's just go and explore it. You find that witch again. I think it's a... I, I just, she looks like a witch. She's either that or a goth. I, I don't care. Cordelia, sweet sister, hand the moon to me. Aurora, you look wretched. N not fit for nobility. And you are. You fucking are. A ruler you will never be. Well, I don't want to measure things. I just want to keep things be peaceful here. Get it, ruler? Measure? No, just me? Alright. When you parade around so commonly, you're always sweet to me. I never liked the way you smiled or the way you chewed your food. Whoa, di this is getting personal, guys. The way you ran through the ha halls. I want to say hails. Your cheerful mood. You were a perfect disgrace. At least we were perfect. What, what are these names? Crepusculum, I think. And I, Crepusculum, aim to put you in your place. And I'm going to smack you in your face. So, yeah. A battle is taking place. Oh, God. Boss battle. Right. We need to focus here. I'm going to do one thing, guys. I'm going to slash all of them just to find out what does damage to who. And just to find out, really, so I can also adjust Ungus. Right, should I? I guess for now he can taunt just to get all the damage. Slash all, so we'll interrupt that fucker. It does a lot of damage to countering. Wow, it heals as a counter. Wheel of Death, 50 to 45 damage to us. Worms T, 59. Crippling strike, and he slowed down. So now we need we need to swap him out for Finn, I think. And I want to go for the dragon, or what? I, I'm calling it a dragon. It's not a dragon. It's like a flying eel. But we're gonna swap out Gus for Finn. We're gonna focus on these Grim Reapers first. So we'll lightning strike. We could lightning strike all of them just to see what happens. Starlight, 201 vulnerable to light. I hope none of these geezers can revive, and we'll interrupt two of them, so that's good. 138, 148, and 7, which is nothing. Crippling Strike, and Finn is slowed down, so that's not too good. But we'll try and kill one of these geezers now. He will get interrupted anyway, so that's not too bad. 
201 Final Water Light interrupted. Now I'm going to have to make a choice. Am I going to defend or am I going to try something? I'm going to defend. I'm going to be careful here. So far I was not right. Aurora taking 53 but she counter attacks so that's good. But it only does 10 damage. The mighty roar. Damage increase. Alright. You wear this geezer now. Starlight him. Get rid of him. Right near strike him as well. Come on. We want to get rid of one of them at least. 201 vulnerable to light. He's still alive. Hopefully this will kill him. 196. He's still alive. Bloody hell. The dragon is gathering strength. So that's not too good. Worm's teeth. I'm actually... I want to let him hit. I can't. So I'm going to take a gamble. Worm's teeth. I took a right gamble. Because Finn gets hit. Starlight from Aurora. Oh, and we got rid of one of them. So that's good. I am going to lightning strike this one even though Finn is quite injured and gets hit 92 and he slowed down and interrupted of course and we'll lightning strike this geezer like, I feel like if you take care of the pawns first you, you're gonna have a hot wow can't talk a hell of a lot more of an easy game can't can't talk dreadful cry paralyzed Aurora's paralyzed there why there come on now but she hits anyway, and that's good, because now she's going to interrupt the geezer. I'm going to take some wishes, just to upgrade her life a bit. And I know Finn is slowed down and nearly dead. You know what, I'm going to take a healing tonic for Finn. Just because I want to keep him in, and that's rhyming. And now Aurora's slowed down, and now we could have a bit of trouble. Worm's teeth. 48 to Finn. We need to kill... Hold up, let me get some thingies. Do we, have, do we have enough now? I think we have. To starlight this geezer. And to lightning strike him as well. That dragon was too quick. Crippling strike. We are slowed down again. Finn, we are counting on you now, mate. 196. Come on, Aurora. Come on. Come on, kill kill him. Kill the fucker. Come on. I should have let him go so he would be interrupted. I didn't. But he is dead. Gathering strength. So now we can focus here. I think I'm going to... I don't know what works on this geyser. I like... I'll, I'll just try things because I know lightning strike doesn't work. We're going to monsoon him. And I do want to try and get a potion in for Aurora. Just to keep her in. That does seven. Which is nothing. I think we may have to resort or start using physical attacks because it seems to do more. I'm going to use a potion again, potent healing tonic, just get a, get Aurora back in the game. Worm's breath. Finn gets slowed down, 92, but he does get a shot now. He's going to wildfire. Yeah, yeah, he's going to wildfire, yeah. I was doubting my own decision there. Decision. And that does seven, so that's not the way forward. So we might have to swing. What? We might have to use Rebella or Gus here, because Aurora can't do anything from here really. We can slash him, get him interrupted. That does 103. So slashing, but he heals. As long as he, as long as he doesn't revive, that's not wouldn't do anything. I feel like we can try. 85. It is a critical hit, but could this be the way forward, or what is he doing? I didn't see what he did. Right. So, we'll slash him again, because that was quite effective. We're going to knock him again. Sometimes I wish you could just tell your... Worm's Breath, 84 to Aurora, and she slowed down, 84 to Aurora. That's rhyming a bit, a bit, just a bit. I'm going to slash him again. Sometimes I wish you could tell your your troops, so to say, just to slow it down for a bit. Just so you can get them interrupted. But it doesn't work like that, unfortunately. 42 damage, and it heals 108. 
That's a bit unfortunate. He's going to be quicker here unless we knock him. Which we can, so that's good. Interrupted. 42, but he heals again. That's just because it's physical. Will he do it every time? Like, am I just giving him health now? 103. No, it's not every time. Oh, right, maybe we can do it again, or will he heal again? Because then I need to change my battle plan. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he heals every time Finn hits. He heals, so we might have to take Finn out of this game. Dreadful cry. Finn's paralysed, so that's not too, not too happy with that. We'll slash him anyway. The dragon, of course, not Finn. Come on, Finn, get back. Finn, get back in. We got a battle that we need to win. We. So we could do Gus, or we could do Rubella. What shall we do here? Let's do Gus. I have a bit more trust in him at the moment. That's Kate Gee to cleave him. It sounds so nasty. 99. Does he heal those? He does. So I'm just giving him health now. So I need to figure something out here. I'll slash him again. 103. Focus. So his damage goes up. Critical hit percent goes up. So, we'll slash him again, but I do have to, what can I do? Physical attack, or oh, arrows physical attacks, because I might have to give Robert a go. I don't know if they count as physical attacks. You could hinder him, just to slow him down. Slash, 103. Oh dear, I wasn't paying attention, but he's gathering strength, so that's not too bad. I, I wonder if this is a physical attack. 72 and slowed down, it's not. So that's something handy, and Robert is quite, far, quite fast. So this is where we capitalize. Rain arrows, does that do more damage? Let's just try. I can imagine it doesn't. 207, critical hit, that's good. The dragon is getting weakened now. 65, it's not a lot, but at least he doesn't heal. We'll just do the same again, but now we use a shoot arrow just to see if it helps a bit more. 103 again. And shoot arrow. 96. Worm's breath. Aurora takes a hit. 84 and slowed down. But I feel like we could get him in this round or the next one. And on to the next one. On to the next one. On to the next one. You know that Jay-Z song? He's dead. Robert kills him. I was talking about Jay-Z. We get 34,000 XP and a bit more. And Aurora goes up to a level 31. Tristis goes up by 2 to a level 32. So that's great for him. And Golem goes up to a level 4, 32. I nearly set 40. Finn goes up from a level 31 to a 33. Rebella goes up to a level 32. Gus goes up to a level 32. Robert goes up to a level 32. And we find a tumbled diamond, so that's good. The moon yours for now shall be, but mother will end you, wait and see. We, re we have retaken the moon, guys. And I believe that that's quite an achievement. That's quite good. we just grown up. we just got a bigger skirt and a bigger dress. And... We just turn into adults, adolescents, I don't know. Whoa, where did Aurora go? Iniculus, have you become smaller? Maybe it's the light of the moon. But I think you have gotten taller. Who cares what size Aurora is? We just killed a dragon. What a tame. Our strengths trounced the competition. To the extreme. What do we do now? We must recover the sun. I... In a way, I'm hoping, I'm, I'm wondering what she will become if we recover the sun, but I don't want her to turn into a fucking grandma, like, into a nan. Like, we must recover the sun to the lowest of the low. Quickly, let us run. And we get a trophy, guys. And I think that is the first episode where we got two trophies in one episode. And we're just going to do our skill upgrades. I think that picture of... 
Aurora's changed up. Oh, look, she's increased in everything. We can go higher now. So that's good. Let's have a look what we are going for then. I like this one because you have slash all upgrade. So we're going to go for this route now. We'll say fuck you to the counter-attacking skill. We can upgrade Rubella now. So that's that's good. I like this. Ailment protection all. We're going to have to use it to get the tumble upgrade. So we'll do that now. And Finn, what can we do for you, my friend? Increase the power of all spells by 30%. This is a passive skill. Rage of the Kapili. Passive skill. So we're going to go for that. For Finn, increase his strength by 5. And it's his HP by 10. Sorry. Couldn't think. And we'll do... What shall we do for our good friend Robert, who has proved to be a good fighter. We'll increase his maximum HP and physical defense. Trist is... I don't know, we haven't used them yet. Like, Let's see, what could we do? We're just going to upgrade his magic defense and his defend. Gus, what can you have? Arm of the Titans. Yeah, you can have that, I guess. Have a 30% less damage when hit by a physical attack for 4 turns. That's good. And the golem, I don't know what he can have. Paralyze all, he can have that. And we, I think we upgrade the other one, guys. To the flooded lands. And this is probably where I'm going to end it. So, yeah, we know what to do next time. And Aurora turned into a woman. A rather gorgeous one. No, I'm not into that shit, but you know what I mean. Anyways, it's been a an, an eventful episode. We got the Cape Gita. And we, we covered the moon, so that's good. You, 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 you can't see light without dark, and you can't see dark without light. Yeah, it's true. So, yeah, that's going to be everything for me for today. If you did enjoy, please hit that like. It's subscribe, but only if you feel the vibe. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys later. So, yeah.